to be live. Hi guys, I am live and just waiting on some people to get here. Hello, 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 hello. A few minutes early because you know that's just what I do because I'm always nervous and I'm going to be late because of that one time that I was late. Um, so welcome, welcome to Five Things Friday. Hi, somebody is watching, I think, or someone said, at least did a thumbs up. Hi, guys. Hello, hello, hello. It is a nasty, nasty rainy day. I didn't do my hair because why? It's just going to get rained on. It is, we're under flood watches and warnings and all that kind of good stuff. Hi, Land, Sh Land Shark Picker. Hi, Satima. Or Satima, I hope I said your name correctly. All right, 10 people watching. Um, Mark and I have been here for a little bit. You might hear some noises in the background. Good morning. Good morning, Pammy. Um, we, the lady that ha that sells the wooden signs for us, she's coming to get the stuff today. Hi, Mama Jay. She's coming to get her signs. Um, so we're, they're kind of scattered throughout the shop. So Mark is walking around and, um, gathering them up. I have some things to show you. Um, I have, there, and I have more than five things. So Kind of what the plan going forward, at least for right now, is I'm going to start coming in here and doing these live sales, showing you some of the things that we have um, and offering it to you for the prices that we have on it at the shop, plus shipping. Um, or if you're local, we can set up a time and um, we can do a local pickup. Hi, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. And I know a lot of people have been like, oh, I'm so sorry you're closing the, short, the store. We're actually thrilled about it because we're going to get our lives back because this is pretty much what we've been doing for the past five years, all on our weekends. Every ounce of free time that we've had has been here. Let me put this camera down a little bit. Um, and so we're, it's a good change for us. We're hoping to be able to um, move into a location. Um, we're going to sell our house and find a house. Um, that dad can live with us and okay <laughs> I just saw your message and um, you know be able to still do the the antiques the way that we want it and not be tied down to four walls I said that before and I just said it again okay so I have pulled kind of a little bit of a variety of things to show you and here's the way that this is going to work if you see something that you want to purchase from me. It's going to be the first person that sends me an email and says that they want that item. That's the person that I'm going to sell it to. Um, there will always be backups, you know, that kind of thing. Um, but what's going to happen is um, if you send me an email, my email, once this video goes live, it will be in the description. <laughs> and um, But my, my email is poshypate.com. P-O-S-H-Y, poshypate at gmail.com. And so send me an email. You can, the thing of it is leaving me a message or a, a comment in the, hi guys that are just coming in, um, leaving me a message on this video. I don't always see them. Uh, so sending me an email and letting me know the item that you want to purchase is the best way of getting a hold of me. And my email is in the description. 28, 27 people watching, three thumbs ups. So make sure, guys, that you give this a thumbs up as you're watching. That really does help my channel. And again, if you just say hi in the comments, that helps That helps all. Any you, any influencer or any YouTuber that you watch, if you just put a little smiley face in the comments, it really does help the channel. So just, just, just throwing that out there. Okay, are you ready? I mean, I'm going to keep, you know, scrolling up here to see... What's the last day my shop will be open? We're not gonna be open. We are in the process now of, I'm gonna be selling some things online. I'm gonna be doing these live sales. Um, we've talked about that we might do an auction. I don't know, we're, we're, we're gonna see. We do have some interest in people wanting to buy the building, so we may have to work a little bit faster to get to liquidate than what we had originally thought. So, um, we don't really quite know. We're kind of taking a little bit of a mental break, a little bit of a mental break because this was very mentally draining us making this decision. And well, you know, we just need to take a little bit of a mental break. 
Okay, I'm gonna try to answer questions too as I'm showing this stuff. I kind of have everything that I'm wanting to show today at least behind me. And like I said, I am going to come and do this. I haven't decided if I'm going to continue to do it on Friday mornings. I may do it like a, I may do a couple of them a week. Still do it on Friday mornings and then do some maybe in the evening times too. So do leave me a message in the comments what you would prefer um, or what kind of time would work best for you. So that's what I'm gonna do going forward. We'll see how chaotic this could be. And like I said, leave me an email if you want any of this stuff because that's the best way to get a hold of me. All right, good morning, good morning, good morning. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to show you is this wooden mallet. Now, when we first opened the shop, I used to call these pounders. That's not what they're called. In fact, when I started pricing some of them, I broke an antique pounder. That's not the right term. These are wooden mallets and they were used back in the day to build things. They were kind of like an old school hammer, I guess you could say, but it's this beautiful wood. And I'm not sure um, if this is burl wood. I know we've had some burl wood ones before. These look really cool in a display. A lot of times people will put them on a mantelpiece. You can lay them on the side too. Hi guys. So this one I have $32 on the wooden mallet. That will include shipping or that will not include shipping. So I will give you a shipping quote once you send me the email if you're interested in the wooden mallets. So that's the first thing. And I'm gonna show more than five things, guys. Where is the email? Okay, the email should be in the description once this video goes live, but it is poshypaint at gmail.com. Poshmark with a Y, poshy. I know I need to change that email, but I can't because that's what it's been for a while, but it's poshypaint at gmail.com. Wooden mallet, $32 plus shipping for that. All right, the next thing I'm gonna show you, these are so cute. These are little cow salt and pepper shakers. Look at the eyelashes on this one. They both have their corks and they're both marked Japan. And they are $10 for the set of them. They have these really pretty gold and pink details on them and the little necklaces. There are no damage on these at all. They are in excellent condition. So these are $10. First person to send an email to poshypate.com or poshypate at gmail.com um, will get these. That's how I'm going to have to do this because you know, I gotta be able to keep track. All right, so there are those little cute things. I have another set of salt and pepper shakers too. These are plastic kind of mid-century ones. They are Max Klein, Max Klein, oops, salt and pepper shakers. And these are 550 for these. They're plastic, they're in great condition. They are marked Max Klein on the bottom. So these are 550, whoops, here we go. So send me an email if you're interested in those. All right, I'm kind of figuring I'm kind of showing a little bit of a variety of things. Um, hi NASCAR man, hi Piper Lily, hi Karen. Yeah, those, I think those, I always talk about having a vintage camper. Wouldn't those plastic ones be great in a vintage camper? Anyway, um, I, this next item is a little Kreis skunk. And he is in excellent condition too. He has his little glasses that are kind of offset on his face. He is marked on the bottom. Kreis there. And I think it was, he was 1953, I believe. Hi, Pink Elephant, and $8. This little skunk, little figurine is $8. He's in great condition. No flaws on him at all. A cute little, cute little skunk piece. Hi, Vintage Venture. Okay, so that as well is available. Also, I'm gonna go ahead and show these since we're doing salt and pepper shakers. I have these Fiesta, whoa, that one still had some salt in it. 
I will empty these out. These Fiesta ball shakers, they are vintage. One of them has the rubber cork and one of them has the actual cork in it. They are not marked Fiesta. They are Fiesta. Um, and these for the set are $16 plus shipping. Let me see. Hi, Quirky. There's my bestie. Hi, bestie. So there's there are these really pretty, like a light blue, robin's egg blue, I guess. They are glass Fiesta shakers for $16. Again, send me an email if you're interested in these items. All right. Pyrex. I have a few Pyrex pieces. I'm going to show one today. Um, it is this Pyrex, the snowflake divided dish. This one is, I think it's one and a half quart Pyrex with the snowflake. Uh, snowflake. I don't have the lid for it. So this one is available as well. I hear some people talking outside. I don't know. So, Pyrex. Okay. Trying to put all this stuff kind of in a central location. All right. Does, oh, well, hi, Mark. My husband's right there, but he's watching. Thank you for being so supportive. Anyway, all right, 52 people watching. Let me know too, do you like, are these sales something that you would like me for me to continue to do? Sell the lunchbox, I know I'm getting ready to. <laughs> I, I have that pulled to be listed, I do have some lunchboxes. I'm gonna show one today, um, but I am, like I said, I am gonna, this is fun for me to go live and do these sales because I get to talk to you guys and, um, it is a way for us to be able to liquidate some things. The Pyrex is, what did I say it was? $18.50 for the Pyrex. And Jared, I know that you are local. So if this is something that you, if you're the first to send me the email that you want it, um, if you are local, then we can schedule a time for you to come and pick it up. So you don't have to pay for shipping. Um, but the, the Pyrex is in great condition. This doesn't have a lid. Okay. These next th little things I think are adorable if you like vintage glasses like I do are these cute little juice glasses. This one has bunnies and little kitties and this one is five dollars plus shipping. And then there's also if you're gonna buy this one you gotta buy this one too. This one also has a little duck and a little duck toy on it and this little horse with a little rocking horse. And they both have this really pretty, it's picking it up, trim on top. They're both in excellent condition. This one is also $5. If you would like that, let me know. Just little cute little juice, juice glasses. These actually came from my house. I had these for a while that I kept, but you know, when you when you do this thing, you, you buy things for a little bit and then you, you decide to move on and, and collect other things. So I'm selling these. Also selling today this set of four. These are really cute. Also little juice glasses with the cherries on them. They're not marked. They're probably made by Libby, I would assume. But the set of four of them are $15. Set of four cherry little vintage kitchen juice glasses. They're great condition. The graphics are all still really good on them. There's no chips or cracks on them at all. Hi, Bobby. So these cherry glasses are $15. Okay. I'll go ahead and show this. This is an ET lunchbox. It is $22. There is the front of it. I mean, it does, it's a metal lunchbox. It does have some wear to it. You can see the ET right there is a little bit rusted out. Um, let me show you all angles of it. It still looks really good on a shelf or just the nostalgia of this if you had this when you were 
Young. It's made by Aladdin, 1982. And it also has the thermos. So ET lunchbox with the thermos. Um, it does have, um, Dan wrote his name in it one time, but that will come out with rubbing alcohol. The latch still works good on it and it still has the handle. So this is $22 plus shipping, yeah. ET phone home to your house, maybe. Pink elephant, you have to go to the post office. I have to do that too. We meant to do that before we came here today, but we didn't, so we'll do it before we leave. So message me if you want the little lunchbox. Okay. The next thing I'm going to show you is, this is a Weller vase. Very pretty. It does have crazing, which I like to say is good. I know a lot of people don't like crazing, but this has the good crazing on it. It shows its age. There is no chips on the lip at all um, or on the bottom. Well, actually, I take that back. There is a little, I, I want to say that that's a glazing flaw. It doesn't really look like a chip. It's just where the glaze is missing right there. But it has this really pretty floral motif on it. Very Art Deco piece. It's kind of a pale yellow. And I have $25 on the Weller Vase plus shipping. So leave me an email if you are interested in the Weller Vase. Let's check the comments. Hi, Newton's cover. Hey, it's okay. I still have more stuff to show. Hi, Veronica. <laughs> Byra, I do. We got a lot of stuff. And, you know, as I'm walking around and I was kind of pulling some of the stuff that I wanted to show today, um, I told my husband, I said, you know, there's a lot of this stuff that I, I want to keep because I know that I'll never find this stuff again. And so when we move into a larger home and I can display some things a little bit easier, uh, like when I take Pinky with me because Pinky is not being sold. Pinky is... I don't know where we're going to put Pinky because Pinky is a big girl, but she's going to she's gonna go home with me and be my, be my girl one day. Um, but there's so many things that I want to keep. I can't keep everything. So I'm just sitting here looking around. I'm like, okay, yeah, I'd like to keep a lot of this stuff. So I don't know. It's going to be a little bit of a difficult thing. But I'm going to start doing these probably a couple times a week, definitely on Fridays at 10 a.m. like I have been doing. Um, they may be, I might do them from the shop and I might do them, I might pull some things when I'm here earlier in the week and bring them home and do the lives from home. Um, hi Kathy, welcome. So add to your calendar, Rita, Fridays at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time will be one of these. And I would like to do another one more, um, you know, in, in the afternoon. Um, I was thinking maybe, I don't know yet. Maybe Sunday afternoon. We'll see. So, Weller Bates. All right. Another little thing I have, perfect time for Easter, is this pink little lamb. Um, I don't, it doesn't have a maker's mark on it, so I don't know. It's a made in the USA. I can tell just because of the thickness of the pottery. Um, and I have $6 on this cute little little lamb planter. Um, there is one little little hairline crack right there. It's gonna pick that up or not. Uh, but he is super cute or she is super cute. I've seen some of these. In fact, I've had a teal one of these and their eyes were painted red, which is a little extra creepy, but I like that about it. But this one doesn't have red eyes. It's just a normal planter. Okay, so this little lamb is six dollars another figurine i'm going to show is this cute little poodle he's got little diamond eyes very mid-century with his long neck he isn't doesn't have any markings on him he has no damage no flaws anywhere and he is eight dollars for the poodle schnuda poodle schnuda He's so, just so cute for him. I'm just kind of looking at his feet and I'm noticing there is one little, 
one little kind of a chip kind of right there. You can't really see when he's, you know, on display, but he is, he is $8 if you were interested in Mr. Poodle. Okay. Then I also have these really cool, these are their stacking rooster sugar bowl creamer salt and pepper shaker. Yeah, that's a lot going on there. But here they are. Let me hold, well, here they are. I'll show you them like this and then I'll show you one at a time. This one is the creamer. You take his head off. See, we just, hi Francis. We take his head off and then you can pour your coffee cream in his bot from his body. Um, and then he's a salt and pepper shaker on his head. So he's got a lot going on. And he has his cork. I do, PJ, I have the Corgi planner. I knew that somebody had wanted it and I took it home with me. So send me an email with all your information and I'll get you a shipping quote. But I do have the Corgi planner at home still. So here is one. And here's his little friend. And his little friend is the sugar bowl. So he doesn't have the little lip on it like the creamer does, but you can put sugar in his body and then put pepper or salt in his head. And neither one of them have any damage on them. They both are marked Japan on the bottom. And they are $18.75 for the set. So you'll get both of these for $18.75 plus shipping. So there are these fun little rooster chickens. I don't know what the difference is. They are both marked Japan on the bottom with the sticker. So there are these guys. And then I also have this is a hand blown footed glass bowl. Okay, make sure that you send me an email. The first people that the first person to send an email claiming the item will be the one that will get it. So make sure that you send me an email, poshypate at gmail.com. I really need to change my email to something else, but I just haven't, and I don't know. It, that's, that's, that's what it is right now. Any poodles? I just showed one poodle. I don't know if anyone's claimed it yet. I haven't checked the messages. But Sandra, here's the little poodle here. No pink poodles. I don't have any pink poodles. This poodle's $8. He's got little jeweled eyes. I do have a pink lamb, though, but not any pink poodles. Okay, so the little gla hand-blown glass-footed bowl. It does have the Pontel mark on the bottom, and it does have a lot of this aerated bubbling here. Really pretty. No chips or cracks on it at all. It has this really pretty swirl glass in here or on it, and it is $6.50 for this really pretty glass bowl. So make sure that you send me an email if this is something that you're interested in. Okay. What to show next? Okay, I have these, and I've had these for a while, and again, I can tell because, oh, bye, Quirky. See you soon. Bye, Bestie. Have a good day. These little salt and pepper, well, they're not salt and pepper shakers. They're just figures. And I don't know if they went on a cake topper, but it appears to be that they are a bride and a groom. But they're not shakers. They have no holes in their head and they have no corks on the bottom. Um, there's no maker's mark on them at all, but they're this really pretty glaze. And I'm trying to see, does he? He doesn't have a chip on his nose. He just has a dirty nose. And um, he kind of has Dutch shoes in a little bit. And then she's got her bouquet. They're very reminiscent of California pottery with those eyelashes, though. But she, she kind of has a little Dutch girl hat. And they are $16.50 for the set of these, plus shipping if you're interested in those. <laughs> the poor little group, he kind of does look like he needs to go to the bathroom a little bit. But he, I mean, they're really, they're really cute. But I've had these for a while. Nobody's wanted to buy them here, so maybe... Somebody out there wants to buy them. 
My husband's on a ladder. Yes. He's like, I don't, I'm not going to be on camera. So make sure that you don't put me on camera. So we'll, we'll do that. Just a nervous groom. I don't know why. Because he's marrying a really pretty little girl with some big, big eyelashes. Those are $16.50. And then, what else is I going to show? Oh, this. Um, I have this letters and bills um, wooden mail holder caddy uh, it's six dollars and it has strawberries this isn't glass it's plastic but this is very you know 1980s letters and bills and it has this little lip on the back that you can hang it and a string I don't know that's a little overkill but it does hang on the wall um, so there's that for six dollars. 90 people watching and 24 thumbs ups. Make sure let's get some thumbs ups, guys. Thumbs ups, if you would, please. All right, and I'm going to show you these are vintage grinders. Going to have to change the title to 20 Things Friday. I know these are my last things that I'm going to show this week. I don't know, I'm trying to think of a different title. And I've talked with Alex from Chapter Two Vintage Co about it. And I've asked her suggestions and she's like, just keep calling it Five Things Friday. But I mean, I'm not showing five things. Like maybe Fun Things Friday? I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm bouncing off ideas. How do you give a thumbs up? Well, it depends on if you're on your phone or if you're on your computer. If you're on your computer, underneath the video, there should be like a little thumbs up and you just click on that. If you're on your TV, I don't know, that's a whole other ball of wax because every TV is different, but there is a way of doing it. But you can always go back later. If you're on TV now and you're on your phone later, you can go back in later and, and do thumbs up and leave comments. Comments always help. So the last four items I'm going to show you also came out of my own personal collection at home. I collected these for a little while. Find your things Fridays. Yeah, give me some ideas. I'm trying to think of a catchy little, little, little name. On your phone, Francis, there should be like a little thumbs up thing and you just click it. 40 things Friday. <laughs> I know. I don't know if I can do it. Well, I, I could do 40 things every Friday, honestly. I could probably do 140 things Friday. Shopping with Misty. That has a nice little ring to it, too. Live shopping with Misty. 50 things Friday. It's pretty much. Okay, these last four things are these little nut grinders. So this one, Funky Junky Friday. Oh, I like that. I like Funky Junk Friday. These are each are eight dollars each, so I'm going to show them. Um, yeah, fun things Friday is kind of what I was thinking. Misty show and tell. <laughs> That's that 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 could be interesting too. So these this one has this nice little lithograph motif on it. Was a flower at one time. It's kind of faded, and then this one as well. It's kind of like the other one that has a kind of a fatter jar with the, the little decal, I guess. It's got a little sticker on the other side. I never noticed that before. And then this one's $8 as well. These look really neat lined up on a shelf. That's how I have them. Buy my stuff Friday. Fantastic finds Friday. Yeah, we've got all good ideas. I was trying to think of like F things and then I might, if I do a Sunday sale thing, I don't know. I, I still am trying to think about it, but then the last two are very similar. They just are different colors. They have this really atomic starburst. One is a blue and one is a red, but these are $8 each. This one says, actually they both say, um, what does that say? Andro deck made in the USA. Yes, people do. You, I've had customers that come in and say, "I use the, I have one of those, and I use it all of the time to um, to chop nuts or grate things." So yeah, people do still use them. I don't know that I would. This, this one's a little bit more rusty on the inside than this one. 
So, I don't know. So those are the things I'm going to show today. It was tons of stuff. Romper room, fine things Friday. You gotta do the magnifying glass and call out my name. Yeah, man, that would be, I need, someone had mentioned for me to do an auction too, but I, with the way that my brain works, I don't think that I could keep up with that. Um, I would much rather kind of do it this way um, and, and see. Follow me on Instagram though, as well, if you don't already, and it's Thrifter Junk or Vintage Hunter on Instagram, because, hi, Emma, my daughter is watching. Welcome, good morning. I'm surprised you're up. It's 10.30. Um, but I might, you know, while I'm here kind of going through things, I might, um, you know, sell some things on Instagram as well. So make sure that you're following me on there. Don't have, okay. I'm not sure, Francis. Thrifty Friday with Misty. Yeah, maybe. I'm liking fun things Friday so far on the Friday ones, but I'm going to have... Huh? Thrifty Thursday. Thrifty Thursday. Eh. The thing of it is I need to be able to, I'm trying to divide the time between doing this and I'm probably going to bring a, a, a setup to where, I, where I'm here and I'm taking pictures here and I'm, you know, listing things on eBay while I'm here so I don't have to bring it all home because I don't have any room at home. But we are having the building appraised. And like I said, we do have some interest in the building. So if we end up selling the building, I don't know what we're going to do. Because we got a lot of stuff. And, I mean, the back room is just chock full. So, Dad needs to do, do guy things Sundays. Dad, when he, I told him that I was going live. He, and he was like, well, I'm leaving. He didn't want to be on film. But... He does want to do like a little where he shows some of the things that he bought. And he said that he would do it if I was, if I was here with him. So we might do that like dad's treasure box or something. And then he just wants to show some of the things that he's found. Um, so I'm going to try to convince him to do that. We'll see. Um, but depending on what we're going to do with, the stuff we don't quite know yet, but um, you know, we're I'm going to start doing these live sales and hopefully get rid of some things that way. Um, so make sure that you do send me an email, poshypate at gmail.com. This is the first one that I've done, so there's probably gonna be there might be a better way for me to um, do it, like maybe I'll have a something with my email behind me so you can see it right away do you know any kind do you know if i have any kind of bunnies at all do we have any bunnies probably not out right now because i tend to like put all the holiday stuff and the bunnies would be part of that um i am i do have a valentine's day box here that i'm going to go through before i leave or i'm going to take home with me um, and I will be showing some Valentine's stuff. And so I probably will do an Easter, an Easter one as well. I'm just trying to look. I have a little duck. I have this little duck here. I'll go ahead and show it. He's made by New Orleans. This little duck. He's a little egg holder. So you put an egg there. He's $5. Here, I'm just showing one more thing. There's the bottom. I'll leave it where you can see. Made in Japan. He does have a little, a little doink there on his little beak. Huh? Did you say how much? Yeah, he's five dollars. Valentine's. Yeah, I do have. Um, I don't have a lot of Valentine's stuff because you guys know that it's hard to find. But I have like. You know, you remember my little stash of Christmas things that I did? I have a Valentine one at home, too. So I'm going to be filming that next week, as well as I'm going to, I have a box here that, hi, Denise, welcome live. Welcome, welcome. Um, So, I don't know. Any bla old black round top lunch boxes? No. I do have some more lunch boxes that I am going to be showing recipe oh crafty jackie let me show you um i do 
Now, Jackie had sent me a message wanting to see some lithograph lunchbox, or not lunchboxes, recipe boxes. Misty, is the lady behind you in the frame, photo, or painting? This, these over here. Boop, 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 boop. Yes, those are really pretty Victorian era prints. Pastel, the frames alone are beautiful. Um, $42 on that, black glitter, $42 each um, for those. We used to have, we used to name all of the, um, the, the pictures in here. Like we've got Jebediah over there. Do you remember some of their names? But let me go and grab, let me see if I, maybe I can take you with me. Um, there's some metal recipe boxes over here on this, like I think in the teal cabinet. I didn't bring my portable tripod. I guess I could. Do you see them? Okay. So Jackie, here's the two metal ones that I have. This one, it's got these flowers on top. Um, it is $6. It does have a little bit of wear on it. It all it does have the um, the little index cards on the inside. Yeah, I think that's all I have for those three. And then this one. Oh, he found another one. This this is a really neat one with the pink lithograph on it. It's also six dollars. You know they do have some rust. This one doesn't have the cards to it, but look at that cool blue box. Hi from Arizona. And then this yellow one here. This one's actually in really good condition with really not any, any um, damage or rust. It's $10, but it also has the little index cards on the inside. And then I think and those are the four that I have as far as those. So let me know, Jackie. I know you wanted those. You wanted a couple of those as, as well as the, um, the little tea bag holder guy so I have those set aside for you so send me a message Jackie and let me know if there are any of those that you want yes I do have M or Mark yes. will you hand me those two hens on nests that are on that shelf Here. yep I have two hens on nests good morning good morning yeah the the pink and yellow recipe box is is pretty cool uh, oh, they want me to show Pinky. I'll show Pinky Don't here in just a minute. Afro. Mark said this one has an afro. It does kind of. This one is no markings on this. I don't think that it's Westmoreland, but I don't know. I'm not a real, I'm not an expert. I don't, I'm, I'm not a glassware fan, so I don't really do a lot of research on glassware. But I do have this one, and it is $10. Oop, there. No damage on it at all. It's in great condition. So there's that one. And then I have this clear one. No damage on this one. No markings on it. And it is $15. So those are the two that I have. Alter Boy figurines, no. Um, I do have pie birds, but I I'm... I hoard them. They're, I like pie birds, so I have them at my house. Figural glass flower frogs. No, I do have two glass flower frogs, though. They're not figural. Have one. Oop, they're $5 each. And again, if you see things that you want, poshypate at gmail.com is the email to let me know. Um, so, yeah, these are $5 each for these flower frogs here. Okay, let me just... All right. Okay, so they want to see Pinky. Let me... Well... <laughs> Why? I'm, I, can, I think I can turn it around. Okay, I'm turning it around. And, okay, so I'm going to walk, so don't, so, you know, don't get sick. I'll try to go slow. <laughs> Ooh, do, 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 do. Some background music. Here is Pinky. P 
Pinky is eight feet tall, seven and a half feet tall. Let me turn this back around. This is Pinky, and this is, I love Pinky, and I'm, Pinky will hopefully be in my home someday, and I love her. And I, think of all the things I can display in her. She's got these really cool hooks for mugs that I would use, but I'm just saying that they're there. But she has her plate rack on her, and I just, I love her. She's got storage underneath and these big drawers, but she doesn't fit in my house currently because my ceilings are eight feet tall so she would she would not she wouldn't work she is a built-in so on each side actually just on one side i think is wood not painted wood so some of the other furniture pieces that i'm probably going to keep is this piece here this is another built-in um, i like the yellow paint on the inside but it has the old weighty glass and these really tall storage shelves here. I like this one because it's it's probably about seven and a half feet tall, I would think. No, well, sorry, six and a half. Oh, six and a half feet. Um, but it's also a built-in too, which means it was at one time it was built into the wall of the house. But so I like these two, and I like this one just because it's of the unusual size of it. So these two pieces of furniture, as well as the buffet, probably are three pieces that I'm that I'm gonna keep because I'm you know I, I, I'm not gonna be able to find them again and I'll show you the buffet I know that you guys have seen some of you most of you have seen it before the buffet is right here this is the buffet this is a piece of furniture that has been in my childhood home ever since I can remember so this will be great in the dining room um, and all of these like silver pieces, I am going to keep like this, this is a champagne bucket. I'm keeping it, um, some of the, the bells I'm keeping, I'm starting to get into the, the silver stuff. That's something that is interesting to me lately. So the hard part is deciding what to sell and what I want to keep because where am I going to find this stuff again, you know? And if I do, it's going to be at a much more expensive of a price than just taking it home with me. Okay, let me turn this back around again. And let me see what I had missed. Um, Did I just see a large moon? I don't know. Large moon, I don't think so. Oh, that plate that is a silver it's a silver tray that's what that was okay any more 80s 90s stuff i don't think so in here i do have some of that stuff though okay so that is going to be my 500 things friday for today um i like i said i'm send me an email on the stacked tables a moon I don't know that right there that's a, a an enamel it's a, an enamel pot right there boop, boop, boop. there's mark say hi mark hi. um so send me an email if there's things that you had seen that you are interested in um, and i will get you a shipping quote and um send you an invoice and i ship out the next day so um that's the way that's the way it'll work so far and i'm going to do this again probably not this sunday i'm just trying to think of, an, of another of another evening time because i am a mammal i'm not a mammal but i have like the disposition of a mammal that when it's dark out i need to be home in my pajamas so i might pull some things from here and take them home and do a sale at home i don't know I'm so happy that you got to catch this live too, Lisa. If you don't know, Lisa is Melissa Fresh Bloom and Clothing's sister and Lavender Clothesline's daughter. And Lisa is becoming a really good friend of mine. I wish she could come down and help me find a house and help me stage my house to sell because she's really good at that. Okay, 
All right, guys. So send me an email if there's things that you wanted and poshypay at gmail.com. And um, I, my what sold video will be out tomorrow morning. It was a sponsored video. So it took a little while. Like it's a lot. I meant to release it on Wednesday, but they didn't approve it until last night. So it will go up in the morning. It's sponsored by Skillshare. So there's that. Um, and uh, I will be doing I will be doing my Valentine hoard video, and we'll be having some more upcoming sales. Hi, I heart Junie B. I heart life, Junie B. Misty, it's June. Hi, June. I'm getting ready to leave, though. I'm so glad that you got to catch it live. You can go back and watch some of the stuff that I'm showing today. Um, so anyway, have a great day, guys. I hope you guys don't. If, if, we're getting torrential rains. So hi, teenage treasures. So I hope that you guys are um, going to still enjoy the day, even though it might be raining where you're at, because I think the storm is pretty big. So we are going to go and I will see you guys very soon.